problem two of the problem set one. Uh, consider the following investment opportunity. The decision is whether to invest $10 million in a venture. If the venture succeeds, you will receive $40 million. Otherwise, you receive nothing. Assume the probability of success is 50%. Uh, the best way to frame this type of problem is using a decision tree. Um, and so let's go ahead and see if we can draw a decision tree of our of this problem. So uh, we got a little screen here, and we have um, decision. Usually, use a box, uh, a box or a, a, a square to represent the decision, and then uh, emanating from that are two alternatives. We have the invest alternative. The invest. And then, considering on the path there, we can either succeed, the circle represents an uncertainty, succeed or fail. So we're just going to write down S or fail, F for fail. And then in this, we assumed it's 0.5 probability of success, which means it has to be 0.5 probability of fail. Uh, for each uncertainty, you have this is mutually exclusive and collective exhaustive it means there's no overlap between the different outcomes and also the probabilities have to sum to one and then the the other alternative is the not invest so we'll just say this is not invest And then we also need the, not only the alternatives and the uncertainty. So we have a decision basis. So I should step back. The alternatives are the invest or not invest. The uncertainty is successful venture. That's our uncertainty. And then the value is the dollars, million, which we would prefer more to less. And here we have a $40 million payoff minus the investment. So it gives us thirty million dollars, and then likewise down here we win, we get, we fail, so we don't get any payoff, but we still have to spend the investment. So it looks like a pretty risky alternative. It's essentially, it's a coin flip's chance of winning thirty or losing ten million dollars. And then down here, if we do nothing, then it's the do nothing. So that's our decision tree. If we want to do the expected value, we're going to actually evaluate um, as we start on the far, using the rollback method, we start on the far right endpoints and then roll back the tree. And the first node we come to is an uncertainty. That means we do the expectation of that. And so the expectation is going to be, uh, we'll write down here, part B is going to be uh, expected value of the invest is equal to 0.5 times 30 plus 0.5 times minus 10. And if we go through that math, we'll get 15 minus 5, which is $10 million. So that's our expected value of the invest. The not invest is zero. So as we go through essentially this tree we can say that this is now going to have a ten million dollar expected value. The expected value here, I use a circle just to say we're doing some calculation here and in this case I would not invest but I would invest. So I use an arrow to represent investing and versus not investing. So this is the answer to part C. Part D says, what happens if the probability of success is equal to 0.8? So in that case, our tree changes a little bit. Let me see if I can erase this. Maybe I can't. Oh, not racing very well. Taking a little bit of time to erase that. So if this is 0.8, then this has got to be what? The other branch, the fail branch. 1 minus that, or 0.2. So let's erase this guy. So this is going to be 0.2. So 
So now our, tr our tree stays the same, it's just the probability changes. We think it's more likely that we're going to su succeed. And then likewise, when we do the expected value, we get our eraser out. And we get the eraser out here. The eraser's not working very well. Um, oops. So down here, we're going to have um, 0.8. 0.2 and we can get erase this whole match here all right I'm almost there race 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 and so we're left with 0.8 times 30 which is going to be 24 Four, and this will be minus 0.2 times 10 is 2, so minus 2. So um, our expected value is $22 million. So it's actually increased quite a bit by having, based on um, uh, in what we believe to be an increased chance of success. And that's an expert usually that's, that's making that estimate. And then the last part, part E, asks for if it's 0.2, so these numbers are essentially are going to switch. And rather than trying to erase this stuff, let me just write down the expected value for part E. So the expected value is 0.2 times 30 plus 0.8 times minus 10. If you go through that high-level mathematics, you'll get um, 6. Um, minus eight, so minus two million dollars. And you can also find, as you can imagine, you can find kind of a break even with your probabilities too, by setting this equal to some some variable p, and this would be one minus p, and you could solve for the probability there. Uh, so that's problem two.